Hi there guys and welcome back to the second part of Case 4 of Dead Rising 4. We're going to carry on from where we left off last time, so let's get into it. More of you? This place is like a fortress! Well, yeah, you kind of expect that, really. Uh, Sounds like colder is about. I suppose you should probably go. I'm going fucking guns. Round up, yes. Military power up. This. Alright. Holy crap. Alright, he's dead. Oh, holy shit, why did he explode? Jesus. Why are these guys just... What, is this just sticking like a bomb on them? Or a grenade? Alright, well I kind of want to get rid of these guys too. Cheers. Let's do it, Frank. Okay. We're in. Well, excuse me. I owe you one, Hammond. Good luck, Frank. Give Fontana hell. I shall. Finally. Together we'll make some progress. Once you Research see how the people are huh? doing hills. Based off the work of the late you know great what? Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? Photographs. Aha, like uh -huh. papers. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy. Guess who's going to be locked in here? Got cold medicine, we'll take that. Boom. This brain teasers? What are you gonna send them to college? <laughs> oh look. I definitely thought I was gonna be stuck in there for a second. Uh it's probably lucky that oh, I'm no! in here to be fair. Please not, not smart enough to dodge fucking sword. Slash, are you? Jesus, fuck you. Holy terror, yep, that's coming. What's you? Oh. Jeez. I smell zombies. Gotta clear them out. 
That was lucky. Oof. There you go. Oh, I'm boned. Am I? How many are there? Quite a few by the looks of things, oh dear. Okay. I have to say that gun, or this gun, is bloody God awesome. Damn, there must be thousands of files here. Okay. Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. There we go. Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Ooh. There we go. The missing files all stamped November twenty fifth. Boom. Alright, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer and watch you so hard. <laughs> Frank West is such an odd man. Now, let's see. Oh, nice. Damn. So this careful. is colder. What happened? He got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Pick your tag and cat it. Roger that. McCall, get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on it. Seizure team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out, you hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body <coughs> was created at 1500 hours. My seventh failure. And... Uh, <coughs> September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. Oh, dear. The experiment is incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into Good. my primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undead, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. For my name and contact information, it's likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population oh, nice. pace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my This handiwork. must be what changes him Should into the monster that we've been here chasing, I guess. Test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, cause untold death. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Infected fireflies. Or well, at least that's what it looks like, anyway. So basically, Colder became what Barnaby would have become himself if he hadn't uh, died already. Oh, 
I mean, Cold has fought that off pretty well, given what he did to everybody. Jesus. Okay, so he's fully synced. He's infected and now he's about to be purged of the infection. Ish. What nice. the hell? Attention, we've got a pest infestation in the intelligence lockup. What is Security key here? card. That's probably gonna help me, isn't it? Still warm. I am an absolute idiot. But the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! <laughs> Frank has such a way of words, doesn't he? Oh, Jesus. That's made me jump more than what any of the rest of the game has. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Partly zombies him into some kind of immortality treatment. I'm trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies, started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. <sighs> You plan to make soldiers, are you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's Mad. gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, <laughs> or meat packing, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, <laughs> unskilled labor <laughs> exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. Wow. You're wasting my time! Well, I guess that means uh, <laughs> we won that fight. Clearly having a good gun like that will uh, fuck her up. Uh-oh. Fully had a good look at him yet. Negative. Do not come here. Oh, he's gonna fuck her up. Good play. Probably should have blown his hand off as well, though. <laughs> Frank's got away with one there, though. Oh, that was like a pretty, uh, pretty painful one, that arm. She got fucked up twice in a row. Can you believe it? Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need <laughs> to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever. 
Because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's Excellent. the punchline. Nice. So that is it for Dead Rising 4 Case 4. Next week we will go on to Case 5. But yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Dead Rising 4 as a part of my Weird Wednesday series, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.